Is it club? Is it club? Hello, my lovelies. It's your baby girl, Araya. Mrs. A, I'm so excited because today is the grand finale. <laughs> it's the final part of our Feminine Energy. So, Feminine Energy series is coming to an end today. I am likely to do some more vlogs on it in the future. But for this time, let's see what we've got. I'm just looking forward to my birthday weekend. So, you know, just kind of get things together. On that note, I have previously announced probably in my two, three videos that I'm doing a Q&A video, which is basically a get to know me. So that weekend on my birthday, that's all it will be. I will be here to just answer your questions. That's what the session will be about. So if it's anything to do with any questions about me or even topics that you want me to answer or something that you need clarity on, it will be anonymous. So feel free to bring some of those things in and we can, you know, sort of deliberate on it, talk about it. The email to send your um, questions or information to is erasspeaks at gmail.com. If you haven't seen part one and two of the Feminine Energy series, please check it out. In both videos, we looked at what feminine energy is and ways that we can embrace our feminine energy. Today, we are looking at three benefits of embracing our feminine energies. So let's zoom in. Number one, stress reduction. By embracing feminine energy, we can reduce stress and anxiety by allowing ourselves to flow with life's challenges rather than resisting or controlling every aspect. I chose to talk about this part of the benefits because I feel like it's so relatable. Stress is something that one way or the other, we kind of have to deal with or we have to manage. Practical example, imagine you're stuck in a heavy traffic on a highway because something just happened there and then. So it's not looking promising because, you know, it's not like it's happened already and you just got there. It literally happened. But you're on your way to an important meeting and the clock is ticking. All of a sudden, your stress levels whoop, goes up, skyrocket, and you begin to feel the pressure to be in control of the situation. You grip the steering wheel tightly, wishing the traffic to magically disappear. At this point, embracing feminine energy can be your ultimate stress relief. After all, you can't do anything about the situation, right? But you can't also pretend to not notice what is happening. So instead of resisting the traffic or trying to control the situation and getting all your pressure up and down and everywhere, you tap into your feminine energy. And remind yourself that these things can happen to anyone, any day, any time. And you just can't control it either. So you surrender to the flow of traffic, trusting that everything will work out as is meant to be. This is something I tend to do a lot before I even learned about feminine energy. One day, my lovely teaching assistant back in London, where I used to teach, told me that I always seem calm even when chaotic things are happening. She actually said it a few times. So... I know that she means it. Upon reflection, I realized it's just the fact that I'm trying to reassure myself internally that everything is going to work out and that is showing on the outside. It doesn't mean I don't feel the stress or the panic. I do, but it's just the way that I manage my emotions when things are falling apart. And I must say it's paying off. I remember on two occasions, I have given birth straight after my baby showers. One of them was literally while the baby shower was happening. I went up to rest a bit because, you know, things were beginning to happen um, or escalate. And when it got to a point, we had to kind of leave to the hospital. Some of the guests saw me leaving whilst they were chilling at home, but some of them did not see me. And they thought I was taking a rest upstairs because I, I actually went up to take a rest and then, you know, we had to leave. Within a matter of, I don't know, maybe an hour, my husband sent them a photo of a new baby and they were like but she's upstairs resting one of the most shocking moments of my life because of how it all happened but when everything was over people kept wondering how i was even able to 
manage that level of pain at a baby shower and going to the hospital only for the baby to pop out in less than 10 minutes. It was that quick. And anyway, I bathed in a tiara and a long baby shower dress because there was no time to change. The midwives were like, oh, you look all glammed up. No, that was not the plan. <laughs> Things happen in life and some of them, you just can't do anything about it. So embrace the feminine energy and go with the flow. Even when things are not going quite as right, things have a way of working out. This is one of my mantra, one of the things that I've believed in all this while. By embracing feminine energy and flowing with life's challenges, you find a sense of calm within the chaos. The stress and anxiety melt away as you let go of the need to control every aspect. Number two, feminine energy can make us have empathy and understanding for other people and create a more compassionate and harmonious environment in our interactions with others. You are understanding towards other people. You're not quick to judge. You put yourself in people's shoes sometimes. You might not be able to physically help someone out of their problem or whatever they're going through. But instead of adding on to their problems by being negative or toxic, you reassure them, you offer kind words to give them a smile or even a shoulder to cry on when they need it. It does not cost a thing. No need for toxic energy or negativity. It's draining even to yourself. So keep it real, keep it simple, good vibes only, show empathy. It's such a good quality to have. And it comes from right here. Number three, embracing your feminine energy encourages collaboration rather than competition. This is a mindset and a great one to have as well. It means we value each other's unique contributions no envy, no sabotaging, no looking down on people, no gossiping about someone because of their success. It's an absolute waste of your time anyway, because those people you gossip about or you talk about, they don't even know that you're talking about it. And they are actually spending time, which is the good news, improving themselves. Why you waste your precious time either feeling envious or, you know, talking about them. So use your time wisely. We're all different. We all can't be the same. It's just what it is. Accept it, move on, and be thankful for what you have. Because guess what? Someone else is also looking at you wishing they have a fraction of what you have. Just think about it this way. Imagine the hard work that those people had to go through to achieve whatever they achieved. So it's not like it's something that is being dished out and everybody's getting and you're not getting it. As for me, when it comes to what people have achieved and things like that. It normally fascinates me and it encourages me, giving me hope. It brings me some kind of excitement like, wow, somebody could actually do that. That's amazing. That means I could also do it. That's as far as it goes. I have no time to be calculating why they got there and all of that is just stress, envy, headaches. No need for that. It's, it's just absolutely pointless. People's achievements, let it inspire you, admire it, move on, easy peasy, Lemon squeezy. Last but certainly not the least, when we embrace our feminine energy, it allows us to embrace our emotions fully. This leads to emotional healing and growth. We learn to process past wounds and traumas in a healthy and nurturing way. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has made some wrong choices at some point. And if you haven't, chances are you probably will. You never know. So don't be hard on yourself. Show yourself love. You are your biggest supporter or fun. Sometimes your partners or spouse cannot even cheer you up as much as you can. So if you also put yourself down, who will be there for you? Food for thoughts, that is. In conclusion, by embracing our femininity, we create a more enriching and empowered life. Building stronger connections with others and nurturing our own personal growth and well-being. Operating in feminine energy is not about excluding masculine energy. It's about finding a harmonious balance between the two. Operating in both feminine and masculine energies enables us to make a balanced decisions, considering both our logical reasoning and our emotional intuition. So what is masculine energy? Well, that is another vlog for another day. If you enjoyed this video, as always, give it a thumbs up, share with your family and friends so they can join in here 
every single week for some good vibes, some good inspiration that is very practical for life. I'm going to love you and leave you. Adios. Au revoir. Bye-bye. I'm out of here.